Okay, so I didn't clear up the programmer, and let's say I want these to all, or my second key list to all move up. So make sure I select the fixtures that I want, 1 through 10, enter. And then I want to change the tilt up. And then I want el fixtures 11 through 18, which is those at the top right there, to go up as well. And I'll just take the tilt uh, up as well. And then I will hit record. Oops, not record, Q, enter. Now I have two in here. I'm not going to hit the programmer because I'm going to keep messing with all this stuff. Um, let's say I want uh, fixtures 11 through 18 to go down. I I've actually have them selected still, so I can just, I should be able to just, um, yeah, adjust it from here. Um, yeah, there it is. And I want that to move down. I can just hit record Q, enter. There we go. It's just as simple as that. Um, and let's say, you know, I think I like those those uh, settings. We'll, we'll actually just go ahead and hit clear. So now my cue list has not played, so I need to run it. And I'm on cue list 4, so I'm going to hit that play button. And I'm just going to go through the cue list. Now the intensity is by fader, you know, master 9 and 10. Uh, 4 is just controlling my position. And you know, really at this point, there's... Since this is only controlling intensity, I it doesn't really do much for you. But let me show you a trick <laughs> that it can do something for you. Uh, maybe I'll show it to you in a minute because it'll make sense in a minute. I think now it's a little too early. But keep that in mind, though. It's just an intensity fader at the moment. I'll show you how to change that. So we can do some really cool stuff with it. Now let's say I want to um, well I want to make some color to it, and I want the color and the gobos to be in. Let's say color to be in its own world. Uh, 11, I want to start with 11 through 18. And I want the color to be, let's make it orange. Uh, and then I want fixtures 11, oops, excuse me. Fixtures, hit the back button. Let's get rid of the command line. And fixtures 1 through 10. Uh, this is where the highlights come in handy. Let's see, I, I have the wrong stuff open right now. I still have those guys open. Oh, there we go. You see how they're changing colors? Because the, the color habit sets a little more bluish and whitish. And now they hit highlight. It's actually showing you, it's saying, hey, these are the fixtures you have selected. So I have 1 through 10 <laughs> selected right now. And then I want the color to be, and I'm going to double tap color in my play when these pop up. I want it to be blue. So now I have a nice red and blue up here, and I can hit, um, let's see, I want it on cue list 5. So I'm going to record, cue, enter. Now I want my next one to be green. And you know what, I like the, the, the red up there, so I'm actually going to keep it, and I am going to let the red track down through the, the console. So I'm just going to hit record, cue, enter. Let's say I want my guys from 11 through 18, enter. Let's say I want them to have a different color this time, and I'm going to let the, the um, let's say aqua. And I'm actually looking at it, it doesn't look great at all. That's, uh, pink is okay, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, so we got that. Uh, I'm going to record another cue and let it flow down, track down the system. And... Let's do a set sudden color to um, purple. Fine, we'll just go for that. Um, let's go colors. Let's see, I think we want purple on here. Indigo. That's close enough. And my fixtures 1 through 10. I want them to be purplish as well. button in order to go back to white, but if I run my fifth cue list, it's going to cycle through. Let me see here. So we can kind of have some fun with them and mix them together. And there's a downside to doing this in a cue list in my opinion, 
is that, well, what if I'm in the middle of the song and I, you know, want it all to go up, but my next cue, you know, half of them goes down, you know, like, how do I jump to them? There's, you could deal with it like this. I could go, I could say to myself, you know, if I named them all, named all these cues, I could say, okay, you know, like the first one's down, the first one's up, and the first one's half up, half down. I could have named them like that. But what if I want half up and half down, you know, like I programmed it? Well, I could hit, I could jump around, I could go to Q, go to Q, 2. You know, that was actually all up, but you get the idea. I could go to Q, 1, back down. I still think it, it gets a little hokey because touch screens will come in later, and I'll show you how you can do things do things on the fly faster, but I think it gets a little hokey and bulky um, at times because you can only do that one cue list at a time unless you're really, really fast. <laughs> and I mean, un unhuman-like fast. That's really the only way to do it. But I hope you're getting the idea on how you know how you can utilize all this. Now we're talking about these faders. Um, we're talking about how these guys can. Um, actually be used, uh, can be these little faders here, they can actually be switched to um, to be other values other than intensity. Um, you really can't do much more than uh, than a few things, but I'll show you what you can do with it that it makes it a little more powerful. Um, let's see here. Let's say, we, let's release these cues and we hit 4, and release, and we hit 5, and release control. I still want the intensity be to be controlled by these guys. But what if I want on 6, I want to control my own look, my own feel. Um, or actually, I I'll take two different looks. This, this is actually kind of a cool little, this is how you do a crossover. I'll show you this really quick. Let's, let's just pick something. Um, let's say uh, 1 through 10. And I want to take the position guys up, put that right there, and you know, I'll add a little bit of frost to it, I hit beam, and I can turn on the beam shape, widen up the frost, and, well, it should be a little louder, and we'll make them, we'll make them blue, let's do that, color, and maybe this time I'll select it with these guys, let's go with that. Let's go fixtures one through eighteen, and I will make them yellow. So I'm going to go with select my color yellow, and at the same time, let's select a go to triangles. So this is what it looks like. So I can hit. Um, let's see how I'm doing on time. I'm running short on time. I'll just do this in the next video. I'll hit record. See, I'm in Q6. Record. Enter, and then on my, I hit clear this out, and I'll, I'll just do this really quick since we're running out of time. So hit enter. So eleven through eighteen. Put those up. Let's see, and we'll leave them white like that. So I want. Master 7, I selected that, record Q, enter, and these these are my, I'll hit clear, and these are my two cues. See, there's that guy, and there's this guy. So, last is taking priority right now, and in fact, I didn't, tracking, here's where tracking comes down, you notice those are still yellow, and those are still the gobos. I actually have to tell it not to do that, because it's tracking, it's coming from the last that took priority. Uh, looks like I have to stop this video because I'm running out of time.